Hey guys, Eddie the Magic Monk here, continuing with our lessons for building houses. So now we have decided where we want to build our house in this rectangular shape. And we've marked it out, uh, the perimeter of the house. So the next step is to uh, dig some trenches around the perimeter of the house and then we're going to also pour the concrete into these trenches and we call this the footings of the house which is used to support the weight of the walls of the house so let's draw another line on the inside of the perimeter um, and this will represent the trenches that are dug around the house so we're going to be digging into the floor okay we're going to be digging into the floor and the maths involved is simply to calculate the volume of concrete required for the footings of this house so um, the question will usually give you so anything that I don't teach you how to calculate is given in the question so the question might give you that the length of the house is for example 20 meters the width of the house might be uh, let's say 13 meters now keep in mind sometimes they give you the measurement in millimeters so they could say 20,000 millimeters or 13,000 millimeters. Now usually with building plans it's given in millimeters uh, so they might give it to you in something like this but it doesn't actually say millimeter. But if that's the case, the first thing you do is you convert it to meters because it's just easier to do the calculations with less zeros on the end. So um, yeah, we got 20 meters wide, 13 meters, sorry, 20 meters long, 13 meters wide. And then we have, the question also gives you the width of footings and they typically give you that in millimeters as well so let's say the width is 300 millimeters and we can convert that to meters which is 0 0.3 meters so millimeters to meters just uh, divided by a thousand and then the question will also usually give you the depth of footings. So how deep does the trench go into the floor? So depth, let's say, make it 400 millimeters or 0 0.4 meters. So the first thing you would do is you would find the area, you would find the shaded area. Okay, so you would find the area of, oh, actually, let's call it base area. Base area of footings. So I'm just finding the shaded area. So to get the shaded area, what you would do is you would get the area of the big rectangle so the area of the big rectangle outside you find this whole area minus the area of the smaller rectangle which is on the inside so minus all that and then you will get the area in between okay then you will get the yellow area so let me just write that out. Base area of footings equals large rectangle minus small rectangle. So large rectangle area is length times width is 20 times 13. 
that gives you the area of the outside the larger rectangle uh, minus the smaller rectangle now what is the length of the smaller rectangle let me just rub out some stuff to create a bit of space so this length on the inside right from here to here this length is going to be 20 minus 0 0.3 because that is the length from here to here minus 0 0.3 again because that's the length from here to here so the whole thing here is 20 but we take off 0 0.3 and we take off 0 0.3 and that'll give us the length of the smaller rectangle so that's 19.4 so we got 19.4 times again we got 13 which is the width of the house minus 0 0.3 minus 0 0.3 so that would be 13 minus 0 0.6 which is 12.4 so the base area, the shaded area, is going to be 20 times 13 minus 19.4 times 12.4. Let's put that into the calculator. So we have 20 by 13. Oops. 20 by 13 minus 19.4 by 12.4 and we got 19.44 uh, meters squared so that is the base area the shaded area the yellow area and now we want to know the volume of concrete required for the footings so we would go base area times height because if you guys remember volume of a rectangular prism is equal to base area times height so we found the area and now we just need to multiply the height or uh, in this case the depth because we're going into the ground the depth of the footings and that will give us the volume so the base area is 19.44 times by the height which is 0 0.4 and that will give you the volume so 19.44 times 0 0.4 and that gives you 7.776 meters cubed and you can probably round that to 7.78 meters cubed if you want to round it to two decimal places so once we have the footings poured then we need to pour the concrete to form the floor of the house so right now we've got the trenches filled with concrete and then on top of that we need to pour more concrete to form the slab of the house which is the floor of the house so we've got our house and what was the measurements for it it was 20 by 13 so we're drawing a picture of the same house we got the footings done already on the inside and now what we want is we're going to pour the concrete slab so we're going to now pour the concrete to form the floor of the house so again I'm going to give you guys some numbers to work with so let's say calculate volume of concrete concrete uh, 
Let me spell that right. Concrete for the slab. If it is, uh, let's make it 15 centimeters thick. Actually, I'm just going to give it to you in millimeters. So the basically the thickness of the slab is the height, right? So we're going to pour the concrete for the floor of the house and it's 15 uh, or 150 millimeters above the ground. So it's going to be volume equals base area times height base area is 20 by 13 right area of the base times by the height now 20 and 13 are in meters so we need to convert this to meters which is 0 0.15 put all that into the calculator and the answer is 39 meters cubed so the total volume of concrete for both the footings and slab is going to be equal to 7.78 meters cubed which we calculated previously for the footings plus the 39 meters cubed for the slab 39 plus 7.78 is 46.78 meters cubed. And that is the total volume of concrete required to uh, form the slab and the footings of the house. Okay, thanks for watching guys. See you next time.